Disclaimer, I was sick during this trip, so you get me of the future to narrate. Welcome to Milan. In Milan, there's a huge cathedral, also known as the Domo. Now, up these steps sits a cathedral that has been built for thousands of years. Okay, maybe just a thousand years. This cathedral is like none other than I've seen before. The spires are so high. It originally started with a nice modest chapel in the middle of the city. And then as it goes, other popes and other priests and other everybody else wanted to build a more majestical piece in this busy, thriving metropolis. So here today, we have the giant cathedral in Milan. Da -da -da! And of course, it's always really busy out front. There's always vendors. Sometimes there's like political protests and that sort of stuff there. But it's definitely a masterpiece to see, like whether you're on a stopover in Milan, whether you want to spend a couple of days or weeks there, it is beautiful. Now, one tip I'll give you if you go see the Jomo is buy tickets online in advance. Tickets are by time, so you need to like book a time. All of the different little statues on the side of the building are just like so intricate and it's totally worth the price to go up. We're walking here on the very top of the roof. There's this little part that you can go walk and take photos and look at the people down below. And it's just, it's beautiful. I've been here multiple times and I will go back multiple times because I like it. You know, also in Milan, there's a bunch of other stuff. It's known for the fashion capital and blah, blah. I think this is pretty much cooler than the fashion district. So there's also a part where you can walk to the very, very top. And there's these really steep stairs. So if you go on this tour, please make sure that you're able to climb hundreds of stairs. And yeah, you can wrestle on the way up, but you just need to be able-bodied to climb up all of the stairs. It's a pretty majestic experience looking at this cathedral and just thinking like how much money this must have cost. What if all of the funds here were put into feeding the poor or constructing social housing or helping people acquire skills for jobs so they could build incomes for themselves? One thing that I i don't un fully understand about religion, so if you do, drop a comment. I don't understand why a lot of religious places are so expensive living. I think that a god of any religion would rather the people of the world have a safe place to live rather than a structure set up for people to go and spend all of their money. But, you know. That's probably why I'm not very good at doing religion. So this part of the building was really nice because there was fewer um, people, fewer tourists to walk by so I could do a lot more videoing and just show you more of how it was constructed. Yes, I know I've shown you all of these spikies and pointies a billion times, but I like them. And they are for me, they are not for you. And just look how intricate they are. This guy here is taking a nice little photo and I'm just trying not to get into it, but you know, kind of did. Inside the cathedral, it's equally as ornate. Look how tall these pillars are and the marble floors and everything around. Like, the marble work in here is beautiful. As I mentioned, it's been built for about 1500 years so it's had a lot of time to reconstruct right now they're working on repairing the roof um, so there is some works going on inside but it was just so awesome to see this and one thing I do appreciate about this place is that everyone most everyone adheres to the fact that you should really be quiet inside I also really like that they allow you to take videos because yeah, videos are very, very cool to be taking in here.
So then when you go down the stairs, what is beneath the cathedral is like part of the old cathedral, which I find amazing. Like the whole thing is just spectacular. See down here, we have where the old baptism was. We have where people were buried. Like we have the old, old, old stuff from like 900 AD down here. I mean, just look at this baptism with some original tiling on the floor. And then outside, people are just hustling and bustling around. You know, this shopping district is right across the street from the Jomo. And it contains the highest brands, Dior, Versace, Parada, everything. And I find the juxtaposition of religion next to fancy clothes, just a fascinating concept in all of Milan. And then outside of that, Milan is just like a normal city. People are going places, traffic, hustle and bustle. And thanks for watching this short and awkward and weird video about Milan. I promise I will get better soon. And yeah, see you next time where I end up because it's actually pretty cool. Ciao.